All right. Uh, this is the second part of the uh, economies lecture. So we're talking about uh, market economy. OK. Uh, what is a market economy? OK, well, it's an economic system that's controlled by private enterprise. Market economy is an economic system controlled entirely. By private enterprise prices. Production, markets, all controlled by private enterprise. All right. Uh, law of supply and demand. Okay. Law of supply and demand. All right. So, law of supply, as there's more of something, prices will drop. OK, the more availability, the more supply you have, the cheaper that service or good is going to be. Whereas demand. The more demand for something, the more expensive it will be. OK, the, so law of supply. OK, that. The more there is of something the less the price will be for that. And demand, the more people want something, the more something is in demand, the more expensive it will be. Okay. There are six characteristics of a market economy. Okay. Number one, private property. First characteristic, private property. Okay. Number two, freedom of choice. I get to choose who I want to buy from. Freedom of choice is number two. Three, self-interest. Okay. Businesses act in their own self-interest. Consumers act in their own self-interest. Four, competition between companies. Okay, so competition. Five, a system of markets and prices. Five is a system of markets and prices, meaning that the private economy sets the market, sets the price. And then six, limited government. Government does not get involved. So the six characteristics, private property, freedom of choice, self-interest, competition, a system of markets and prices, and finally, limited government. OK. This should say advantages, not advances. Advantages of a market economy. Um, the most desired goods and desired services are produced. Because it's in the self-interest of companies to produce stuff that's going to sell. So the most desired goods and the most desired services are produced. Goods and services are produced in the most efficient way as well. Once again, it's all about self-interest. It's all about profit. So you're going to produce something in the most efficient way. Market economies reward innovation. Whether it be through coming up with new goods, new services, new ways to make those goods or provide those services. Okay. So those are three advantages. Some disadvantages, OK? Competition is key, all right? So if you're not very competitive, you're going to fail, OK? Competition is key. So if you're not competitive, you are going to fail. That could potentially lead people without jobs, without a safety net, OK? Um, human resources potentially are not cared about. Remember, if I'm producing something in the most efficient way possible, I don't necessarily care about the workers, okay? About, I just need to make sure that they're producing as efficient as possible. So I don't necessarily care about human resources, okay? Um, society is only going to care about the bottom line, not how it's made 
okay, not how you treat people. So disadvantages, you only care about the bottom line, okay? You're so worried about competition, okay, that you don't care about human resources and you really don't care about anything but the bottom line, okay? Um, market economies, okay, for the most part, we're all very mixed economies in that we're going to have aspects of marketing, command economies. Um, some historians will say like the, the most market of all economies right now is Hong Kong, okay, although that is changing, okay? What economic ideology does a market economy per, uh, promote? Capitalism. It's all about capitalism. All right. Command economy. A command economy, everything is controlled by the government. Okay. Production, market, prices. Okay. The workers all controlled by the government. Okay. What are the characteristics of a command economy? Well, the government creates a central economic plan. The government creates a central economic plan. Government puts resources where it wants to. Okay, so market decisions are made by the government. Okay, prices are set by the government. Okay, the government owns the businesses. So characteristics of a command economy, government has a central plan, government controls everything. The market, prices, who gets what, who works where. Okay. Advantages of a command economy? Well, because the government's in charge, Quick decisions can be made on what should or should not be done. Okay. I, in theory, in a command economy, the society all conforms to that central plan. All right. So, advantages big projects can move quickly because the government can easily reallocate resources. And in theory, all of society, you know, understands and conforms to the government's national plan. Disadvantages, okay? No entrepreneurship. Nobody's creating stuff that's new because it's there's no reason to. Okay? So innovation declines because there's no in, there's no incentive to try a new thing, all right? Production doesn't always match demand. You're going to produce stuff because the government tells you to do it, not because it's a good idea to produce stuff, okay? Uh, and so just because, so just because the government's in control doesn't mean it's making all of the best decisions, all right? Examples of command economy, Iran, North Korea today would be the biggest example of a command economy. Soviet Union back in the day, command economy. All right, Cuba today, another example of a command economy. All right, what economic ideology does a command economy promote? Well, command economy is the exact opposite of a market economy. Market economy goes with capitalism. Command economy goes with communism. All right gentlemen.